Today we have 2,568 women in prison. They leave an estimated 7,000 children behind. The majority of them are sent to prison on nonviolent crimes related to their addiction, um, and only a fraction will see, receive services while they're in prison. The objective of um, this exhibit is to educate and um, enlighten people about the issue of female incarceration in Oklahoma and share with them um, the, the Women in Recovery program, which is an alternative to incarceration program uh, in our community that demonstrates that there are better ways um, to work with women involved in the criminal justice system um, that allow for us to have far better outcomes and results for families and children. There is a photograph um, at the exhibit of a mother and daughter in prison in Oklahoma. And you will find that there are uh, mothers, daughters, sisters, um, aunts and nieces sharing the experience of prison. You know, it's incumbent on us to figure this problem, to, to solve for the problem, to break the cycle of intergenerational incarceration. The Kaiser Foundation became involved with the exhibit because of the problem's impact on children. Kids who have mothers in prison are facing some tough odds in life. The foundation believes there are better alternatives than jail cells. Women in Recovery program was actually started in June of 2009. So we have fortunately been able to be an option for the judges in the criminal justice system to provide the opportunity for women to work on their trauma, address their substance abuse issues, um, work on employment skills so that they can take care of themselves and their children. We do a lot of work around the children as well and reunify them back with their mothers. And so I think we're already addressing it and it's, um, this exhibit is really providing the opportunity to bring the subject matter to, I think, to the community. The photographer who created the pictures of the inmates is donating the proceeds of his book sales. The money will be used to help the work of women in recovery. I think that his experience at the program was very uplifting. He saw people that were working hard in their recovery and they were bright and had great conversations with them and expressed their gratitude to him as well for really bringing this subject matter to, to light.